Okay, well, hello, hey, buenas tardes, everybody. Uh, it's Professor Canedo here uh, again with you for another uh, a nuts and bolts uh, how-to video, and this is actually something that I hadn't done before for uh, previous uh, previous classes. Um, and actually, a, a, cu uh, a couple of you actually uh, uh, were uh, were interested about this, so uh, I definitely want to want want uh, want to thank you for. Uh, for bringing this uh, to my attention in that uh, you wanted to see a uh, sample essay uh, basically get a sense of what it uh, of what it is uh, I'm looking for or the best way to put together the EBSCO article review assignment and remember everybody this thing is going to be due uh, about a week from now so it's a uh, Friday, July 17th. That's a due date for the EBSCO article review assignment. So between now and uh, in, into and next week, uh, please uh, keep informing me of your article choices. And don't forget that I got the how-to video on how to actually um, use the uh, Southwestern uh, library uh, d d databases in order to uh, get uh, into EBSCO and then to fi find your articles. Uh, but for this video, I want to go and show you the best way to frame and put together your put together your uh, your, your essay because uh, um, one of the things that I don't really enjoy doing is, of course, uh, it, when, when I'm giving you feedback on the uh, uh, on the writing assignments, and of course I'll do that for not just the EBSCO assignment but also for the uh, book review and the U.S. Mexico War assignment, which is due at the end of the session. Um, um, I don't like to keep uh, uh, saying, well, the, your, your paragraphs were, were too small or they were too long. You had a lot of uh, um, uh, sentence fragments, uh, some uh, uh, run-on sentences, and, the, and uh, you misspelled some words here, blah, 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 that type of thing. So hopefully with this uh, how-to video, uh, we can mitigate against, uh, against some, some of that so you have a better sense in terms of what it is you have to do. So what I have for you right now is I've got an essay which was submitted by, by a young lady who was who was with me in the uh, uh, back in the spring semester, and she did her essay on uh, on an article by uh, by John Pohl. John Pohl's out of UCLA, and he wrote his uh, article in the History Today uh, magazine or History Today Journal. Remember, everybody, what I mentioned from the last. Uh, from one of the uh, earlier videos, uh, when you go into EBSCO, you're looking for journals. Journals are magazines, and in each magazine, of course, is where you find the articles. So in the journal History uh, Today, uh, John Pohl writes an article on uh, on the Aztecs called Aztecs New Perspective. So uh, this uh, young lady here, this student, she wrote about this. So let's go, t go ahead and take a look and see how she put her essay together. Okay, uh, she starts off by by giving us a very uh, a pretty lengthy paragraph for right, right here, and uh, this is very important here because when you want it, when you start your essay, make sure your opening paragraph uh, basically informs me that that is I'm going into the audience and uh, you tell me uh, what it is you're trying to do in in this uh, uh, in, in in this essay. Um, what what you do here is base is base, basically say uh, who the who the author is, what is the name of the of the article, what uh, what he or she is trying to uh, present in this in this article, and then maybe mention some of uh, your perspective. So whatever thoughts you might have about the topic, whether it's about say the Aztecs, about the the Wakan, the Toltecs, depending on what topic it is, uh, have a few sentences in there in which uh, you explain uh, wh uh, what you think the article is going to be about or what you're looking for from this article. Basically. Uh, this is the introduction. That is, uh, uh, you're telling me what it is you're going to try to do in, in, in try to do in, in, in uh, try to do in your essay. And in terms of, of length, uh, what the student here she did a pretty good job. She, uh, her uh, her opening paragraph. Uh, takes up uh, pretty much the pretty much the length of the uh, length of, of, of the uh, of the first page and you don't have to go that 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 uh, that that you don't have to go that that you don't have to go that long is what I try to say uh, you can but I think uh, if you keep your opening paragraph at uh, say roughly maybe a little bit more than a half up to about three quarters of a page um, that that's a good length in, in that you don't want to overburden um, the uh, the audience with all kinds of information. But as long as you have a pretty good grasp of uh, what it is you're going to try to do in your try to do in in, uh, in your essay, then by all means uh, mention that in your opening paragraph. So again, the opening paragraph you introduce your your topic, and uh, if you have the length uh, at least about a little bit more than. Uh, uh, half a page, I would say maybe about two thirds of a page. That's a good length to go in which to introduce your, your topic. All right, so uh, let's go ahead now and press on to the next few paragraphs and see what's 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 going going on here.
Okay, and the second paragraph, uh, 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 the student, she does a pretty good job here of uh, talking about some of the key events in which the which the author, John Pohl, is, is talking about. So because the uh, topic is about the Aztecs, she mentions uh, quite a few elements uh, within the context of, of, of the article. Uh, she gives some basic facts about uh, about what Pohl is mentioning in this article, some facts about the, uh, about the Aztecs in terms of uh, in terms of uh, some of the, the some of the major cities, it's a geography, uh, some of the general characteristics, things of this nature. So, in other words, your second paragraph. Uh, uh, you're going into a discussion about what the article is all about. You're talking about some of the uh, some of the key points, and uh, uh, if there's one if there's one one key point about the article that the author is really talking about, so whether it's something like say agriculture, archaeology, um, or, or I'm sorry, not archaeology, but architecture, uh, maybe about uh, social relations, the uh, uh, relations between the sexes, uh, or maybe it's something. Maybe the author has something about politics, about the warfare, about kings. Then devote your second paragraph to one element that's within the context of, of the article, and uh, and again have a good paragraph which uh, which outlines those key points. So what the what my what, what my student has here, she does a very good job of covering that. So her uh, second paragraph comes in at roughly at about it looks like we're, it looks like a uh, maybe about about two thirds of a page. So that's a good length uh, too. So again, everybody, you want to keep your paragraphs at good length. So keep your paragraphs within the, within the frame of say uh, two thirds to about three quarters of of a page each paragraph. Don't make your paragraphs too long. Don't make them up. Uh, uh, what one. A one whole page or one page and a half, and please don't make your paragraphs uh, two or three, uh, uh, two or three or four sentences, uh, and your paragraph comes in at say maybe a quarter of a page. When you have too many short paragraphs or too many long paragraphs, that really throws off the rhythm of of your of your arguments, and it makes your essay really hard to follow. So avoid that, everybody. Basic rule of thumb: avoid very short paragraphs and avoid very long paragraphs. You keep your paragraphs roughly about the length of uh, what uh, of uh, what my, what did my uh, uh, former student has here and you'll be in and and uh, you'll you'll be in good shape okay in the second paragraph uh she goes on and talks a little bit more about uh, religion, cosmology, spirituality, things of this nature. So again, she did a good job of uh, sticking with one element, with one topic, uh, within the scope of Pohl's article, and uh, elaborates upon that on in, elaborates upon that in, in her second paragraph. So her sec her third paragraph, I'm sorry, uh, comes in at roughly uh, looks like also about about two thirds to three quarters of, of, of a page. Okay, and then in the fourth paragraph, it looks like she gets into things such as uh, some of the excavations, excavations that have that have uh, take taken shape uh, in in Mexico City, of course, years after the the uh, the toppling of the Aztec Empire by Cortes and his uh, merry band of of of, of, of henchmen. Uh, so she gets so uh, she gets to quite uh, quite a bit of uh, some of the objects that have been discovered, also monuments that they were uncovered too. So in this paragraph, she also focuses in on one specific element that the uh, author John Paul talks about and elaborates upon this so in this paragraph looks like it's her, her fourth paragraph it also clocks in at roughly about uh, about two-thirds to three-quarters of a page very, very good length uh, very good length here okay um, then as we uh, at this point in time she's uh, uh, she's written about looks like three pages of text so let me just backtrack a little, little bit here so again um, so we're going back to the, to the beginning right here. So, so she's got one page here. Here's her second page. And then here is, here is her, her third page. Okay. And it's in her, uh, in her fourth page where she begins to make the transition from uh, a summary to commentary. Because remember, everybody, I'm not just looking for summary of your article. I want your commentary. I want your perspectives on what you think is important about the article. What are your findings? What did the article uh, uh, te teach you? How did it coincide with uh, what you picked up from, from the class? So in this paragraph right here, which she has at the uh, toward the end of page four, now she starts getting a little bit more about commentary. That is, she talks a little bit about... Uh, 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 
gets a little bit, little bit about, about her, her perspectives, how she liked, liked the article. Uh, about the only amount of criticism I have about this is that she made this paragraph uh, starting from uh, from throughout up until the Aztecs. She made this paragraph a little bit too short, so it kind of throws off the uh, flow of the of the essay in that compared to the other lengths of the uh, of the paragraphs, this one's a little bit too short. It looks like it, it's about a one, one third of a page. So, uh, in fact, the, when I gave her the, her feedback, I, uh, I mentioned to her that this paragraph was a little bit too short. It was a little bit like a speed bump uh, uh, along, uh, along, along, along the road, along the street. So if she had made this paragraph maybe about twice the size of what she has here, that would have kept the continuity of her, uh, of her essay, her arguments flowing at a much a smoother manner. But that's about the only major uh, issue I have here with this essay. Other than that, she did a fine job in talking about talking about this 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 topic. So basically, if she had made this paragraph a little bit longer, that would have kept the flow going for the essay. But she picks up again in her, in this next paragraph, in which she starts talking a little bit more about her commentary. So notice she begins. She uses a, a first person singular, which means things such as I really like. I would have liked. Uh, I, I I I I believe. I I felt phrases of that nature. So when you start getting into the commentary part of your uh, of your uh, EBSCO essay, then if you want to get into first person singular, you can definitely do that at that at that point in time. Okay, so this is a page five of her essay, and then she concludes here, uh, going into page six. So her essay comes in total at just a little bit over five pages, five pages and uh, and two and a half lines, and that's perfect because I, I want your length to be at least five pages within the range of five to seven pages. So that's five pages of pure text. So title page does not count, and neither does a works cited page. Uh, you can attach a works cited page as a uh, separate page when you finish off your essay. Or, uh, uh, or 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 tack it on at the end of your essay, much like uh, she she does here when she finishes off, uh, finishes off her essay at the very top of of page uh, six. Uh, I think the other thing she could have done here was uh, she uh, in that in this long paragraph maybe if she had broken broken it up into a two uh, uh, paragraphs of more medium length uh, such as instead of one long paragraph which is her quick conclusion if she had done two, two more medium two medium length uh, paragraphs that would have also helped to ensure uh, her continuity uh, of her. Uh, of her, of her arguments. Um, um, I think, if I recall correctly, I think the grade that she earned on this was roughly, I think it was about an A, uh, A, A minus. Uh, she would have earned an A uh, much easily, uh, except for the fact that the, her last two paragraphs uh, were a little bit inconsistent in length. So in other words, if she had made this paragraph from from where, where I have, where, where it says throughout uh, to the Aztecs, if she had made that a little bit longer, and in this final paragraph, if she had broken up her uh, conclusion, her uh, her commentary into a two uh, medium-sized paragraphs, that would have ensured a, a better flow. But that was about the only major flaw that she had in her essay. So there you have it, everybody. I hope this uh, this quick video helps, gives you a sense of what you have to do in order to uh, uh, ensure a uh, get a have a good chance at earning a strong grade for the EBSCO assignment. Uh, and take this lesson at heart when you work on the uh, book review and the U.S.-Mexico War assignments. So in other words, uh, keep your paragraph length con consistent. Again, don't make them too long, and please don't make them very, very short. When you have an imbalance of very short paragraphs and very long paragraphs, that really throws off the rhythm of, of your essay and makes your essay very hard to follow for, uh, at, at, at certain certain points of uh, where your arguments are, are where your arguments are, are located. Um, and of course, other things within the context of a uh, mechanics. So, of course, the grammar, uh, punctuation. Um, mm, uh, avoid things such as sentence fragments and also run on sentences and 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 also avoid very very long sentences I've seen quite a few of those over the past few a few semesters um, but basically whatever lessons you picked up from uh, the English uh, department from the uh, uh, class in the English department then just f follow those and uh, and uh, in addition to what I mentioned here in this video, and you'll have a good chance of earning a, a strong grade on on this uh, 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 on this particular assignment, also for the book review and the US Mexico War assignment too. So again, the rule I have about the uh, uh, the thoughts I have about paragraphs, if you follow those for also the book review and the US Mexico War assignment, then you'll have a really good chance of earning strong grades on all three of the major writing assignments for for, uh, for this class. So there, everybody. Uh, that's what this. Uh, 
uh, little, that's what this short video is, is about. I wanted to give you more of a sense of the best way to frame the uh, frame your um, your essay. So if you have any questions about anything, definitely let me know uh, through messages from Professor. Uh, we got you got a week and a half to work on this, so uh, still a uh, still plenty of time before the uh, July 17th due date. Okay, all right, everyone, that, that's it. Next video I have for you, most likely I'll be back outside in uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the backyard, in, in the patio, in which I, I previewed the, uh, the next uh, week's readings.